Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me in my studio for another video. So today I've got some exciting news, lots of things to say, lots of things to show you, and then we are going to move on to a massive diptych pour tonight, okay? So we'll talk about that one after, but first I wanted to show you guys um, aprons, adult aprons are in. So here is the purple one. I can't fit it all in the screen there, but uh, there it is, there's purple. And of course it says matchy matchy. And so I'm gonna take it off real quick actually so that I can show you. Gotta take off my mic though first, I wasn't really thinking. So it's got adjustable neck straps. Now let me tell you, these were um, quite the issue because they came without the adjustable strap, which is absolutely ridiculous. So my awesome merch um, lady, Serena, got her seamstress to put on adjustable straps for the neck, which is a must needed thing. Um, but yeah, so there you go. We tried to get white, but they didn't have white. There's no white anywhere, but that's okay. Black is fine too. So there is, um, like I showed you, the purple apron and then I will show you really quick let's put that there stay and then I will show you the blue apron so matchy matchy and then there is there's the blue apron all right so let me put my other apron on so that I can Put my microphone on all right got my mic so that you guys can hear me i'll get myself set up i wanted to wear the apron to show you guys ah there we go okay ready now uh wood rounds i have a bunch of them they are made to order i get a lot of people asking me oh do you have any left I have as many as you want, you just have to pre-order them. So you order them, I put the order in with Serena, she cuts them. Um, I wanted to show you guys the one I did the other day that I showed you guys in my video, I resined it. And I got these off of Amazon. They are cork backings with a self-adhesive on the back. They are in my Amazon shop if you are interested. And look how perfectly they fit on the back exactly I don't have to do anything other than peel the back off and stick it to the coaster so there you go see it'll be perfect so if you want the rounds email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com now let's have some fun all right starting today ouch starting today can you see the steam Ooh. <laughs> what's going on starting today for two weeks so today's what March 20th Saturday March 20th up until Saturday April 3rd two weeks only okay you like my mug look how sparkly it is it's so sh look at that shimmer on it right Wait for it, wait for it, just wait, give it a minute. It's a magic mug! Look how cool this is before I spill any and burn myself because that would really suck. So check out this magic mug. The black will disappear eventually. Give it some time. I don't have all day though because this will be a long video as it is. So, I will try and turn it around without burning myself. Look at that shimmer. See, there you go. You can already see it's the black's already gone from the top and the bottom will be gone very soon as well. So, here is what's happening. This magic mug you can buy indefinitely, but for the next two weeks only, okay? Each magic mug will have Sophia's design on it. Every single one 
will have the blue design, except one. One mug, I won't know which one, you won't know which one, one mug will have a completely different design. It could be the purple, it could be multi, it could be a completely different design. It could probably be the next upcoming design for my merch. So the lucky person, so if you order within the two week period, you have to order between today, March 20th, and the deadline of April 3rd on the Saturday, April 3rd. If you order between then, once all the orders are in and the deadline has come and gone, I will then ship out all the mugs, the magic mugs, and someone will get the mug that has a different design. If you are that person and you got the special mug, then you contact me and you shall win a 12 by 12 inch canvas with the colors of your choice made by moi. So there you go, you can see it's all white. And when this is empty and it cools off, it goes back to black. So, and if you're on Instagram, check out the video on Instagram because I show you where I put the mug under the faucet under cold water and it just goes black, then back to white, then black, then back to white. Super cool. So this is my magic mug. I could not be more excited with this. And obviously the handle's still black because it's cold. You wouldn't want that to be hot. So there you have it. Buy your magic mug between now and April 3rd, and if you get the mug with the special design, you will win a 12 by 12 commission piece, colors of your choice by me. So I think that's all I wanted to say for the intro. Um, if I remember anything else, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, see I used my, my tumbler to put that hot water in. Um, I'm gonna get myself set up. It is going to be a little difficult because these are massive 16 by 40 inch canvases and there's two of them. So tonight is going to be a challenge, but I'm all up for challenges. Let's do this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Hi, you guys are so far away. So I hope you can hear me. I do have the mic on, obviously, but um, I you're very, very like, look how far away you are. Um, so what we have here are two 16 by 40 inch canvases. Now, these were commissioned by my husband. So, well, we need some paintings up on uh, one more wall on the main floor. And uh, I said, we need to put some of my own paintings up there. And he agreed. And so that is what we are, or what I'm doing tonight is a painting for my wall in my living room, which I will show you once they are dry, resin, and hung up on the wall. Okay, flooding these was a bit of a challenge. Um, I was able to reach this side no problem, that side no problem, that side no problem, and this side no problem. Um, it was very hard to reach in between here. Um, so I borrowed my son's little train stool here, um, but it's, this is good. You know, you'd think I would do one of these, these one at a time, but no, I have to challenge myself and, you know, I figured, Hey, it's for me anyway. If it screws up for whatever reason, I won't be that mad. Well, yes, I would be mad, but what are you going to do? Okay. I'm just going to pop all the bubbles. And I'm gonna add some white here because I can see the canvas a little bit. And here, like that. All right, back to popping the bubbles. I have already laid down my base white, which is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. And it took me almost two full bottles of these to cover both of these. So. I'd say about one full bottle and then maybe up to a little more than half, I'd say, to uh, cover both canvases. I'm gonna come over here. Okay, um, this, this really is gonna be a challenge. And you know, I thought about laying the canvases this way and doing one over the other and that wouldn't have worked because I would have had to lean over 
the canvas here to get to the canvas there. And it just, you know, then I thought, well, why don't I just do that one first and then bring, and then I'm like, no, forget it. And at least this way, um, I can have them side by side because this is how they're going to be hanging up on the wall. I could, you know, try and get them to matchy matchy, even though they're not going to be side by side, there's going to be a window in between them. But um, there is going to be a window, um, you know, in between them, but I still would like them to somewhat match and look. Okay. I'm really nervous because this is a lot of paint and I'm worried about being able to reach um, that end over there. But we'll see what happens. We shall see. I added some paint here and here. Uh, okay, colors we are using tonight. Now I brought my husband down here. I'm like, okay, honey, let's pick some colors. And he's like, ooh, red. I'm like, no, definitely not red. Um, I don't like red and I'm not putting red on my wall. So I said, no. So he, he chooses this turquoise green by Amsterdam. And then he's like, Ooh, orange. I'm like, no, this isn't Miami dolphins colors. We're not doing Miami dolphins. He's a huge Miami dolphins fan. And I said, no, no orange. So we stuck with the turquoise green by Amsterdam. Then we have a new color I've never used before. It's called in Danthrene Blue, I hope I said that right, and it's by Holbein, and it's one of the paints that Tammy sent me at Christmas time. So I haven't tried this one, and it's got a bluish purple hue to it. I, I looked at it in the sunlight, and it was so gorgeous. So I'm very excited to see it here. Um, then we have Sterling Silver by Deco Art. Actually, I'm going to give these a quick shake, real quick, as I'm going because. All right. Then we have Windsor Blue by Windsor Newton. So new color I'm using again. I have yet to use my Windsor Newton paints. Then we have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. That was my husband's choice. Then we have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Oh geez, I'm running low on this color. Did not think about that. Uh, iridescent blue green by Pebeo topping it off. Um, I really hope I have enough of this. That would really suck if I don't. Okay, so I'm like a bag of rocks right now. Oh, look, my apron's wet. What did I touch? I touched something. Uh, yeah, my apron is wet, but what else is new? I, yeah, I'm. I'm really nervous. Okay, so I guess the first thing, first things first, I need to figure out how I'm going to do this design. Now, because they're being hung vertically, I am going to, um, do I go down here, up, and then into the corner? I asked, I asked my husband, I brought him down here again for a second time, and he's like, what now? I said, how do you want to do this? Do you want to strip here or strip there? Do you want it up and down? Like, what do you want? He's like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, come on, give me an opinion. He's like, no, I don't care. I'm like, okay, fine. So uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to try and stay away from the corner, I think. A try being the key word, but when I blow it out, that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen that way. Um, I guess I'll just zigzag it and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm running out of, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't, I can't reach. Oh my goodness. How on earth am I gonna do this? Oh, <laughs> oh geez. Geez Louise. Okay, that's my design. Now, do I do the opposite? Yeah, what if I did the opposite? Not that I know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, so what did I do? I went up. I don't even know how to do the opposite. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Up. I don't know how to do the opposite. Why am I not, why is my brain not working? My brain's not working. 
sugar. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Once I get the first line down, the rest will be quick. Trust me. It doesn't matter, I guess, really too, too much because I'm just going to blow it out anyway. Okay. All right. No more messing around. I got it now. <sighs> like, I, my stomach is just like, bleh. Oh, this color is so beautiful. We'll get to that part in a minute. I can't believe I can't reach. How on earth am I going to reach with the hair dryer? Can you please tell me that? Wasn't really thinking about that <laughs> very well. Look at me. Oh, this color is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this speck just in case it bites me in the butt after. Oh, so pretty. There's got to be a way there. Did I touch anything? No. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get my son's stool. Ah, now we're talking. There we go. I can't use it when I'm blowing though. I'll probably fall into the paint head first or face first. All right, Windsor Blue. Oh my goodness. This is a nice pretty blue though too. I'm really, really, really digging the new Amsterdam paints and the uh, Windsor and Newton colors. Um, super pretty. A lot of people have been asking me where I get them from, the big bottles. They are from deltaart.ca and they do ship to the US. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough of my greenish blue by Amsterdam which is gonna be a big disappointment. I don't know why I didn't realize that this bottle was almost empty. Oh, there's probably just enough. Oh, just barely. There's like nothing left. Gotta make sure my camera's recording. I would hate to be doing all of this and then it's not even recording. Yes, it's recording. <laughs> I just gotta make sure. Okay, last color. Oh my goodness. Wow, this Holbein blue. Oh, wow. Okay, the colors are down. Let's torch the colors. Oh goodness. You know, if I do fall in the paint, I'm not editing it out. It's gonna be a total blooper that you get to see. No joke. Okay. Uh, okay, um, this should be fun, uh, all right, I'm not too worried about this side because I could always come over here, but this one I might be worried about, but let's get started and let's start blowing and let's have some fun because there's no point in being stressed.
I might need an extension cord. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of uh, an extension cord here, I believe, because I'm probably not going to be able to reach. So far, I'm loving it, though. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just to be safe here. Okay. Now, do I... This is where I'm going to run into a problem here. Yeah. This is where I run into a problem. Sorry, light, you're going to have to move. Okay, see, I can come here. That's that's no problem. It's just... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, I'm so, so discombobulated now. Uh... I've never had so much trouble in my life. I'll go down this way. No, because I went this way, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna fidget with that in a minute. Oh, it's so pretty! Okay, 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 okay. What did I touch now? Why is my apron wet again? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, okay. Let's uh I'm gonna kill myself. Look at this. Alright, let's try this. Okay, I'm up high. Oh my goodness, I can't stop staring at that. Okay, um, let's start here. I'm not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Okay, let's move over here. Plug in over here and see if I can finish this off somehow. Um, as I put my cord in the, oh, I'm gonna have to fid fidget with that. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. <laughs> okay, let me assess what is going on here. My hair dryer is on fire. It's so hot. Okay. I'm so happy though. Like really, I'm loving the colors. Um, I just wish I blew this differently. And now my problem is, it's like I can barely reach over without putting any part of my body in here. Um, oh goodness, I'm gonna face plant into my own painting. My arm hurts. <laughs> I just do push-ups. Um, okay.
Wow, this um, blue by Holbein is so pretty. It's so rich. Okay, so I'm looking at it now and I've got the white negative space here and here. There's just a little bit more here, but I don't want to mess with it too much because then it's going to just not look natural. Now, it's fallen off the edges over here. So, you know, it. I'm sure it'll eventually move a little bit more. Actually, I don't want to blow that. I kind of like the little negative space there. Um, let's see. What did I want to do? <laughs> Almost tripped. I wanted to play here a bit. Oh my goodness. This whole vine, let me show you. Where is it? This. Can you see that? It looks, it's so amazing. Tammy, can you pick them or what? That is awesome. Um, I don't think I'm going to touch any more of this. I just wish I had blown this side out better. Oh, that's frustrating. It's so frustrating because I, I want it a little bit more this way. But maybe I sh should. Can I do this? Oh, <gasps> don't do it. I can. And I will. And I'm not going to do any more. That moved it a bit. And I'm okay with that. Okay. So the only thing I'm going to do is over here, only like one little drip fell down. And there's like two stripes here on the side. And it looks pretty silly. So I am just going to try and blow over some of the blue. There we go. And I might scrape up. Yeah. There was a, just a smidge coming down and I don't want it coming down because it's not coming down here, although it's on the edge and it's probably gonna come down anyway. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. And the iridescent green is what makes it really unique. I'm, I cannot wait till these dry and I cannot wait to hang them up. I am now going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. Now, before I show you guys the close up, I wanted to um, remind you guys the reason why I didn't actually use these in today's video is A, because I only have four of them and I would have needed eight. And B, they would have been so much higher up off the table. Um, I wouldn't have been able to reach, um, but I did want to show you, they are actually clean. I did not clean them. Um, they did not get dirty with the exception of like that from the green painting. Um, so they stayed pretty clean because I had tucked them in a little bit in from the edge. Now, I noticed on Amazon Canada, I got mine for $18. Now I noticed on Amazon, there was the exact same thing for $10. And I thought, oh, I should have bought the $10 ones. I, I can't believe I spent 18. Well, I ordered the $10 ones. They came yesterday and let me tell you, they were junk, absolute rubbish. They looked the same, but they were the most horrible quality. So I guess, you know what they say, you get what you pay for. So needless to say, they got shipped back and I will buy another um, set of the $18 ones. So I guess sometimes thinking that you're saving money isn't always the best way um, and the better quality. So keep that in mind. Okay, um, first let's see if we can get the whole painting in. And I think I did pretty good with the matchy matchy aspect of this all. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I've already fixed my sides. I've already scraped all my edges, as you can see, they're all cleaned off. So let's check out. Um, oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Like, I, I love the iridescent green. It just adds, let me get up on the stool. I didn't fall, I just kicked the stool. Let me just get up on the stool. Um, I really, really, really love the iridescent green by Pebeo. And when this dries, I know it's gonna shimmer. It's 
it's going to for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, let's move on to this one. It, I'm, I'm gonna call my husband down and be like, honey, come and see. And if he says, I don't like it, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him one. I kind of like that little squiggle there on its own. It's really neat. I'm really happy with this and I'm happy it's mine. Now, I can't say if, you know, if you like it and you want to purchase, it's available for purchase because it's not. Um, but if you do like this color combo and you would like to commission a piece with this color combo on whatever size canvas you want, you can do so by emailing me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to turn off the lights and see if we can see any shimmer. Be right back. All right, so let's see what we've got. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, oh, <laughs> just stuck my hand in the paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the shimmer. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end because I'm just gonna fall on my face and drop maybe my phone in the painting. So I'm sorry, I cannot go all the way over there. I'm just not gonna risk it. So I will show you this bottom corner as well. Look at that. So the green almost in some parts looks like there's some gold in there. There is definitely no, um, let me go around my light here, hold on. Um, there's definitely no um, silver going on in here. Um, you know, well, that might be silver there actually, come to think of it. Uh, it's so pretty. Definitely a lot of shimmer. And these, of course, are going to get a top coat of crystal resin. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, don't forget crystal resin, free shipping to the US for a couple more days. And uh, look at that. That's the whole bind. That is that whole bind paint right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn on some lights before I have an accident. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Um, you know, did you have quite the chuckle with me trying to blow out this massive uh, diptych here? But uh, anywho, don't forget to check out all the information listed in the description below. Uh, Amazon links, uh, discounts, Loli Vefi Crystal Resin. You guys know the drill. Um, if you are new watching and you are not a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget, this next weekend coming up, we have the Great Switcheroo Part 3. So mark that in your calendar. It starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look at my studio is such a mess. I'm working on the rainbow boards. I got merch delivered today. I've been packing, wrapping. Um, I got a new printer. <gasps> I should. I really need to tell you guys about that, but maybe in the next video. I bought myself a thermal printer for printing my labels. Oh my gosh, why have I not done that two years ago? All this time, printing on my printer, wasting paper, wasting ink. That thing is inkless. It doesn't need ink. It's thermal, greatest thing ever, but I'll mention that in another video. I'll show you guys. Um, okay, so enough rambling. That's it for now. Um, if you would like to order um, merchandise like the aprons, tumblers, um, you know, all that stuff, you can email me at canelosaraco at gmail.com. Um, orders for merch are going to be placed every Sunday night. So if you've ordered throughout the week, the order will be placed Sunday evening. The week after, it'll be getting prepared and worked on by Serena. And then as long as everything is in stock, you will get your order the week after that. So until next time, guys, if you want a magic mug, email me. You have until April 3rd to try and win a commissioned 12 by 12 inch canvas from me. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now. Love you guys all. Thank you so much for watching. 
Until next time, guys, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.